Hi there, I'm Mary Susie from Read Me a Story, and thanks for joining me this week on this uh, weekly blog. I want to show you this week our Navet Empress bracelet, and this has been reworked and remastered, and I did a couple of absolutely gorgeous colors this week. Uh, this one I call Sugar Plum, and it is a mix of rose gold, uh, silver frost, lavender, and some amethyst and eggplant kind of tones. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then uh, this one I call Peacock. And I think you can see why it's got great blues and greens and this wonderful mix with kind of an eye in the center being the Nevette. So uh, these are, I called these Experience Beginner projects. Um, you should have a good working understanding of the rhinestones and how to mount those and how to join uh, chain mail together once you do that. I will tell you that some of these uh, components where you're gathering them, there's eight jump rings connecting into one jump ring and that can get a little tight. Okay, so this is not for the first time beginner for sure. However, once you do a few projects, I feel pretty confident that you will be able to uh, um, get right in there and be able to do this without much of a problem. So hope you love this week's project. I had a lot of fun making it. Um, we added one more thing that I just want to add about this is I've added beads to the side. This was an existing weave and um, I haven't done it for a very long time and I reworked some of the jump ring sizes as well as adding beads to the edges which I think added a whole lot to this. This is kind of a three-dimensional weave. I'll just let you see that it kind of sits up off the wrist. It, it forms kind of a dome, okay, and give, gives you a little bit of dimension. So with this one, you definitely want to go see my free video that shows you how to um, apply resin to your Montes, and that will keep anything from catching on your clothing. You particularly want to do it with this one just because of how far these set up off of the weave and they will stick out. So if anything's gonna get caught, this would be the one. Um, one more announcement this week, I am trying very hard to get ready for Christmas in July and um, I'm getting ready to put our Christmas items back up on the website. So this one is always a favorite every year. Um, we are ready with some of these kits, so I will be putting this up. Just kind of watch the website and poke around at the different sections, and you'll see the things there. Um, and then we've got this one. Now, this is also a Christmas tree, but you can see I did this one flat. Um, and this one, both of these are fairly easy. So these are great, more beginner projects uh, with the rhinestones that you can do. And I just want to show you when you kind of hold this ear, when you wear this earring, it curls ever so slightly and gives you this beautiful look for your Christmas tree when you're wearing it. It's not quite as wide as it looks when I flatten it out. Okay, so just to show you a couple Christmas tree things. And then of course the Santa collection is going to be back. And let me show you my great Santa Claus here. I just love this guy with his little beard. Okay. And I just put these on ball chains. They can be worn. You can make these into Christmas ornaments if you prefer. And with the Santa collection, I also have this really cute, I call this Santa suit bracelet because it's got almost like the black buttons in it. Okay. So I'll be starting to put this type of stuff back out there. Um, I'm, I'm trying to as quickly as I possibly can. I know that there's some crafters out there who are anxious to get ready for Christmas. They've been watching um, watching the Hallmark Christmas in July movies and kind of getting into the holiday spirit because of course, you know, we crafters, it's not really about having this stuff out early. It's about the fact that we have to make it too. So, uh, so just wanted to point out that this stuff will be coming back. Um, I'll, I'm hoping to get to uh, some new Christmas projects this year and, and we'll see how the time goes. But um, but uh, it, in the meantime, there'll be lots of stuff for you to take a look at. And then, of course, lots of new projects to learn on the way. And, of course, these would be gorgeous during the holidays to have to wear 
um, to a holiday function or of course to give as a gift. So uh, I will, um, I hope you like our projects this week and I will see you next time. Thanks so much.